Um, for today's video, we're actually going to be trying to do a repair. Now, this is um, one of our family members' uh, computers. Um, it doesn't turn on at all, so we need to actually figure out why that is. Um, and in case you're wondering, it is an HP. Um, it's uh, one of the lower end HPs, but either way, we're still going to uh, check it out and see what's wrong with it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is actually test the power supply that was provided uh, with the computer because if the power supply doesn't work, then it's not going to turn on. We're going to do negative on the outside of the uh, tip here, and then we're going to do positive on the inside of the tip, on the inside of the, of the uh, charger, just like that. Power cord is also broken. Not broken, but it, the pin inside is bent. So let me, uh, let me at least see if I can get something out of it before I do anything else. All right, I got 20 volts, 19 volts. So it does work, but the first thing that we need to do is actually uh, fix this. In case you guys wanted to see, this is what I'm talking about. The pin inside is actually bent uh, to the left there, but we should be able to straighten that out. All right, so for this, I'm just going to take um, a screwdriver here and then try to get under. We're slowly, uh, slowly but surely, we're straightening that out. I think that looks pretty straight. Let's see if we can get a focus on here. Okay, I think we're good on that one. All right, so now that it's straight, we're gonna test it again just to make sure we didn't break it um, because there is a possibility that you can actually break these things. Uh, the pin is just made out of metal and it can function. Let's see, we got 18.9, 19.83. Okay, we got the voltage that we want. I'm around 1920 um, is what, we, what we're looking for for this uh, power supply. And for that, you can actually see on the back as well, it should tell you about 19 volts. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug in the power supply into here, into the uh, computer and just see if it turns on. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to plug in this, um, take out the battery, and see if we can get some kind of a voltage reading where the battery would be connected. Um, so if we can get voltage, I, I believe for this one's going to be three to four volts. If you get three to four volts, we should be okay, and it means that it is transferring electricity through. And right, we have 3.1. Okay, we have 3.1 volts right here. 3.1, 3.11, 3.2, 3.28. All right, so we're good on that. So the it's like the housing of the charging port has been broken off. So since the housing of the charging port has been broken off, I do want to replace the charge port because it could possibly be that it's not having proper contact to turn on. Um, that's gonna be the first thing we replace. All right, so really quickly, we have our new charge port um, right here. This is gonna be the charge port we're gonna be replacing. Uh, this is gonna be the new one. Uh, let's get a screwdriver. Let's quickly turn this around. And we're gonna first remove this middle screw. This middle screw should be the one that holds the DVD drive right here. Let's take that out. DVD drive should now come out just like that. Now there are no screws here. Some models do have screws on the uh, on, on that side, but this one does not. So we're just going to take all of these out. See if we can actually get in here with with this little pry tool. All right. So 
some screws I wasn't aware of. I think there might be some screws back here. Yes, there are. I'm glad. See, this is why you never pull on it super hard because you never know what um, could possibly be missing in my pick. Just broke. You never know if you're missing a screw here or there. So always take your time. Always take your time um, and make sure that you got all of them and kind of just like pry it, pry it little by little until you uh, can be clear that you've gotten all of them. All right, so let's see if we can open this up. Looks like we should be able to come bring this up like this. Okay, we got it, awesome. Okay, we're inside. Um, what we're looking for is the charge port area. The charge port area is going to be right up here. So let me turn this this way. The charge port is gonna go from here all the way to here. And here's the cable. Um, let me actually turn it towards you guys. And we're gonna pry this cable out of its holder right there. And then it's actually being held with the hinge cover here, or the hinge itself. So we're going to have to remove the hinge screws to try to get to this. This is the... Screws here. So I'm just moving the cables out of the way because I don't want to damage any of these cables. But once we get this, this out, we should be able to uh, get in there. So it's going to be one, two, three screws, I believe. This is a fan screw. This actually holds on the fan. Um, here's the next screw for the hinge. And then this one. So are we gonna have to remove this fan? We might have to move the fan. Yeah, we're gonna have to move it. So we're gonna take this screw out. Move this fan out of the way. And then we should be able to pry this up a little bit. Just like that. And it should give us clearance to the charge port right here. There we go. And that's easily taken out. Just gonna remove that there. So this is our old charge port. This is our new one. I'll put that off to the side. There we go. this it's good and we're gonna put our fan back on where it belongs and there's a couple little guides here that you can use to kind of guide you through that all right so that screw was there I believe this was above right there. We're just gonna go plug it in. All right, so it actually looks like this charge port um, has a piece of plastic that's extra right here. We're just gonna chop that off. To try to match this one. Okay, that fit, sweet.
Okay, so it turns out that we were right. Um, it was the charge port that was causing the problem. It looks like the power, uh, the power cord uh, and the charge port are coexisting very well so far. I'm gonna let this turn on and shut it off. Um, and then we're gonna put everything back on the way it was before we um, make sure that, it, that everything fully functions. The repair was successful. Uh, as you probably noticed, I also ordered a battery for it because this computer is a little bit older. Um, I believe the battery um, will go bad soon. Even if it doesn't, the person can still keep their, their original battery so they can use both. So now they have two batteries. So um, we, go, we went ahead and finished it off. We cleaned it off a little bit. Um, it is working perfectly fine now. Um, so I'm super happy because now I can return this to our, our family member and um, I hopefully they're happy and then this uh, lasts a little bit longer in their life. So thanks again for watching everybody. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you subscribe and you share this video. It does help the channel. The channel is growing. It's slowly growing, but it is growing. And I definitely appreciate it. So until next time, everybody, take care and see you on the next one.